Hi everyone, welcome back and good day. Uh, what I have right here is a Crassula ovata. This is a jade plant and uh, I'm using it in this video where I'm going to show you how you can use beans like fava beans or pole beans or even um, you can even use shelling peas uh, to help prevent your plants from suffering the consequences of being overwatered in the winter. So how does that happen? So one of the best forms of prevention when it comes to like your larger succulent planters outside, um, preventing them from being, the soil from being oversaturated is to move them under an eave. Um, say you forgot that, or maybe you don't have any space under an eave to do that. Uh, you may have noticed if you've had a giant succulent planter outside before that that soil gets really wet. Uh, and it stays wet for a long time. And sometimes your succulents suffer from just being waterlogged for way too long. And, uh, and so one thing you can do is um, in the fall now, you can plant um, some fava beans or one of these legumes, um, just poke like a two inch deep hole, plant your seed. I would do three for a pot this size when it comes to fava beans. So I do three in here and then start them now. And so that, you know, you get that heavy rain, the plant itself isn't the only thing pulling water out of the soil. You have the fava beans doing the same thing. And also they fixate nitrogen to the soil, which is really cool and good for your succulent. Just don't let your legumes or your beans go to seed. So like if you see the flowers, you know, keep your bush, the, the bean bushes pruned back so that you're not, they're not making fruit because if they make beans, then they're going to pull the nitrogen back out into the bean, which actually is okay. It's not the worst. Succulents don't need a lot of fertilizer. Um, but you know, if you want to keep the nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil, you want to keep the plant from fruiting. Anyways, I've actually even done this on houseplants. Um, I had like, a, I think it was a ficus lorata that I overwatered and I was like needing to get the, the water out of the soil because it just, maybe it was the winter or there wasn't enough light and there was just more soil than there was roots. And so I've used fava beans for that. Um, if you're using fava beans, you want to make sure that you don't have favism. I don't know exactly how it works, or I, I think you have to go to your doctor to test for that. I've never had an allergic reaction with fava beans, so I use them because they're larger beans, and I feel like they, they put out larger roots, and then they, they make a nice, like, compact sort of, like, foliage to kind of block some of the winter winds um, for my plants. This, you know, I have under an eave, so I don't have to worry about it too much, but any larger succulents I have, I've, I plant fava beans in the soil just because there's there's less sunlight in the winter and so there's the plant's not pulling out as much water so even when you water it the plant's not using as much of the water it's also colder so it's not using as much of the water it's not combating the heat so um it's really nice to have a legume in the planter and all you need is like two three you can even do one i've only used one before and that actually seems to really help so I highly recommend giving it a try, whichever legume, whether it be a pole bean, a shelling pea, or fava bean, whichever one you like to use, um, it's a great tool so that when, you know, when there's a heavy rain, hopefully there's a heavy rain here in California, um, when there is a heavy rain, you have something else to be pulling the water out of the soil instead of just the drought, the super drought tolerant succulent that's not going to be pulling a lot of water out of the soil. This will help prevent root rot and different overwatering associated problems that you can have with your succulent. Also taking cuttings um, before the winter, that's really helpful too. So I recommend now planting legumes, uh, one to three in whatever large succulent planter you have um, now, and then, uh, and then just maintaining them throughout the winter. If they freeze, plant another one. And that will help keep your plants from being overwatered in the winter. This really does work. It probably sounds funny to be like putting beans inside your succulent planter. But um, for your larger succulent planters, this really, really does help. And even an overwatered indoor plant, it really helps. But you know, if your plant's in decline from, maybe you're not sure what's, what it's in decline from, you do wanna be careful because there's other pests and pathogens that can cause problems in your plants that maybe aren't from overwatering. Maybe it's a pest or a disease. Um, so be aware of that. But when it comes to just simply overwatering, um, the beans are a great form of prevention as well as helping save the day. Even though it's not guaranteed it will save the day, it's a really powerful tool and I highly recommend it. So um, any questions on how this all works um, that maybe I didn't cover in the video, please feel free to let me know in the comments below or if anything comes to mind, just let me know. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like updates on the newest videos, please click that subscribe button. And once again, this is how I use beans to help keep succulents nice and healthy during the winter. Uh, and my name is Jason. Uh, catch you next time.